A business in Seattle's Central District was closed for repairs today after someone shot out the windows. An employee at the Postman said between 15 and 20 shots were fired at the business early this morning. And that shooting happened just hours after a vigil was held outside for the owner, Devon Pickett Jr., who was shot and killed in this same spot one year ago. No one was hurt in this morning's shooting. The postman is located about a mile from the Central District daycare that was riddled with bullets during a drive-by shooting Monday afternoon. Just yesterday, the owners of the daycare and others in the community called out Councilmember Kashama Sawant, who represents that area, for failing to address the shooting and their ongoing concerns about violence and crime in the neighborhood. Como's Jeremy Harris caught up with Sawant today, and Jeremy, that was quite a response you got. Well, it was indeed, and it's a scary situation here at the Central District after bullets went through that daycare window. Both Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell and Police Chief Adrian Diaz came here to 23rd and Jackson, and you can see police have set up a mobile precinct. Well, Councilmember Kashama Sawant did not come here after the shooting, so we took the questions to her. And U.S. military funding for Israel's war machine. Seattle City Council member Shama Sawant has plenty to say about the violence a world away. Build an international anti-war, anti-imperialist movement. But we're here to ask about violence closer to home. Council member Sawant, Jeremy Harris with Como. Can I ask you a couple questions about the violence that's gone on in your district this week? Sawant hasn't addressed the shooting at a District 3 daycare where children crawled on their hands and knees to escape gunfire. Why do something like that in front of these children? The community is outraged, demanding more police patrols. We need police presence. And city support for the Central District. I've heard that, oh, that's just the area. But no, I need city officials to step it up. Where is the city council representative that represents this district? I have to say it. So Want did not attend a community safety meeting, so we took the concerns to her. Police are down 600 officers no, in the no, last no. three years. No. That's what the police claim. And you pushed the defund effort three years ago. And that daycare owner says she thinks it is the city's responsibility to protect no, those children with more police. You pushed to defund the police and reduce but the officers. The, the, yes, because, yes, and I'm proud of that. I don't take that back. Unlike the Democrats, I don't go back on my word. But the fact of the matter, if facts matter to the media, yeah. I don't think they do for you guys, but if they do, then the fact of the matter is that the police did not get defunded. As a matter of, they did not. In fact, there's been more overtime money right. for police officers. No, no, don't say it right. But they're down, they're they're right. down 600 they're officers. They're That's what the chief they says. They are not. And the daycare owner wants more police. Would you support putting more no, police no, in the central district? That. I am in solidarity with all small businesses who want an end to crime, but the facts Statistical evidence show that bloating the police department doesn't work. Look at what's happening. But we're going to hit record homicides this year. You can say that, but violent crime is up. Homicides are going to hit a record. And you pushed to defund the police three years ago. How can you say with a straight face that more police do not equal... Yeah. for funding for social housing, for programs like LEAD... These are reasonable questions, council member. ...have actually been proven statistically to reduce crime and violence. And how's that working out? Councilmember Sawant is not running for re-election, so her replacement will be decided during the city council elections in November. Now, she is correct that the police were not defunded here in Seattle. They have more funding now than they have in years past. But a lot of officers have left after very tumultuous times during 2020 and 2021. And the department has lost more officers than they've been able to hire in that time. And the police, you told me just this week that over the last three year they've, years, they've lost about 600 officers. Their staffing levels right now are at levels they have not seen since 1991. Reporting live in Seattle, Jeremy Harris, Como News. The questions needed to be asked, you asked them, Jeremy.